I never expected it from myself. I really changed it starting from 24th of February because I always considered myself as, uh, frankly speaking, uh, nervous and a uh, very emotional person. But something has changed. I was focused, I was calm, I was knowing what to do. Um, and, and, and it's still like this. My name is Dasha Zarivna. I'm 33 years old. Um, I have been born in the city of uh, Kherson. It's uh, the south of Ukraine. Uh, and I'm living in Kyiv for, I guess, almost uh, 16 years for now. I'm advisor uh, of the head of the office of the president uh, of Ukraine. Currently, we are at the office of the president of Ukraine in Kyiv at Bankova Street. One second. We have a very powerful team in the office, very professional one. You know, I guess it all depends on the leader and the person who uh, leads and shows the way. And president, from the very first hours of invasion, he gave all us here inside of the office such a strong feeling of confidence. We didn't even know how will it finish. But we knew that we need to fight for the end. We need to stand up for our country, for our dignity, for our people. It's like, you know, sometimes someone comes to the room and he is so confident, or he smiles on his face and he's such in a positive mood, and he makes everyone feel uh, better. Всім добрий вечір. Лідер фракції тут, голова офісу президента тут, прем'єр-міністр Шмигаль тут, Подоляк тут, президент тут. Всі ми тут, наші військові тут, громадяни суспільства тут, всі ми тут. Захищаємо нашу незалежність, нашу державу. І так буде і далі. He understands the power of the power of social media. А вас я дуже люблю. Ідеаліст, взагалі, я коли приїхала в Київ, і все було там, ну, коротше, нічого не працювало. Я думала тільки про те, як я виживу без кави «Ідеаліст». Да. Я ні. Це про мене журналісти знімають серію фільму. Да. А що ви зробили? Що ви зробили? Я в Офісі Президента працюю. Да. Але я просто да, не, 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 не публічна людина. Так. Дякую. Дякую. Sometimes on Sunday, when I have a few minutes, I always come here because I don't know. I feel so good at this place, and there are so many young people. And I see, uh, I see here the future of Ukraine as I want it to be, with uh, lots of uh, young, uh, dedicated, creative, uh, beautiful people with um, very uh, Western and uh, democratic values. For, for me, it's the place where I like uh, came from, and uh, in which I see a big potential for the future of Ukraine and I understand that all these people they will build uh, the new country. Here I'm responsible for different various projects and working groups which we have, like sanctions group, group on security guarantees, a group on uh, um, returning back uh, illegally deported Ukrainian children. I would describe my work as a CEO, Chief Operational Officer uh, here uh, at the Office of the President, Andrei Yermak. Телеграм канали, в Viber канали. Вони закидають різну дезінформацію, розхитують, що ваші дітей кинули на призволяще, ними ніхто не займається і так далі. We live in 2023. It's an interesting time because on the one hand, we have an opportunity to send the uh, messages or the information you would like to share with the world on the very large 
audience. Uh, but at the same time, on the other hand, <laughs> it's also a scary time because when I think about, for example, chat uh, GPT and uh, the opportunities it uh, can bring also for digital disinformation campaigns, I understand that this is, uh, scares me a little bit. For me, the most complicated period was when Kirsten was under the occupation and lots of my friends were staying under occupation and they were like really under the big danger because while her son was occupied, the Russian militaries and Russian intelligence, they were looking for the people who were expressing support for Ukraine and it's like the uh, almost all the people in my city. <laughs> My granny also stayed in the uh, village uh, near Kherson. Uh, she stayed there under occupation and she refused to leave her house when it could, when it was still possible. She refused to leave because this house, I like this house very much, it's very big and full of light and I spent all my childhood there. And there were like bombings all the time. So she stayed without heat, electricity, water. She couldn't even charge her phone, she, so we didn't know what's happening. But one day she came to uh, the garden. Uh, th there was one garden a little bit more far away from house and the house was destroyed. Well, pfft, it was a uh, Russian rocket. She said, okay, now take me out from here because I can't uh, watch it anymore. <laughs> At the end, uh, her son was deoccupied. We came there with the President Zelensky. He, as always, he was uh, uh, incredibly brave because, frankly speaking, it was not truly really safe uh, going there uh, in these days. Uh, but we went there and I remember this feeling when you come up to the central square and all the people, it was like an you know, old city's party because they were all so happy. <laughs> They were all uh, yelling that uh, Kherson is Ukraine, Slava Ukraini, Heroim Slava. And it, it all was such an inspiring moment and the moment when you finally understand and you see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I'm for 100% sure that uh, I will come back. I will rebuild my parents' house, I will rebuild my granny's house, uh, because it's very important for me, you know, as a person. I want this house to be, I want to rebuild everything as it was before, and uh, um, I will put, uh, like, the photos there and everything like this in the memory of uh, my grandfather and my grandmother. I want, I want to do this in future. For the last year and a half, I learned so much, so many things, and I dived so much deeper into my work. There were lots of uh, very interesting people, both from politics, from uh, the business, from um, entertainment, like uh, Sean Penn, Jessica Chastain, uh, Orlando Bloom. But frankly speaking, I'm not a uh, kind of a celebrity crush person. I'm, I'm very... I'm very calm with that. <laughs> this is my friend Sasha, and uh, he's like one of the closest uh, friends and people in my life. Sasha is also a young entrepreneur, so he has this um, set of shops which is called, uh, called Ponchik Boy. Uh, it's a donut boy. And what I really admire about him is that even during this hard period for Ukrainian economy, very, really, really hard, he managed to never give up and stand and uh, saving his business every day. What is your favorite target here? Let me think, let me think. I would say Joe. I, I like his Joe. 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 Joe, it's for Joe Biden, yeah. But I like it, I, I simply like it, the donut, no, no context here. <laughs> Thank you.
President uh, Joe Biden was full of energy. He's a very bright mind and at the same time also takes uh, everything that uh, happens here in spite of uh, this is a country which is very far away from his country, is uh, very personal. He also feels uh, this pain. My life changed a lot because what I did uh, for the first days, uh, I had to uh, send my daughter uh, abroad because I was understanding that for now we'll have work 24-7. It's too dangerous also to, to leave here. And it was like, you know, the, the first days they were completely, no one understood what will happen. Sometimes we haven't seen each other for three or four months, and it's uh, very painful because she's my best friend. Uh, she is uh, only 12 years old. There was no day or moment during all this time when I could say that I feel um, feel complete, you know. I, I, I don't feel really uh, complete without her. We are uh, not the lost generation, but we are the, the generation who searches, who searches for uh, the way to uh, impress yourself, even su during such a hard times, and who also values their country and their home and the people around with such a strong power, which I guess we didn't do before. And I guess that we are not the lost generation, but the generation who certainly will find uh, the new Ukraine and the new senses and ourselves in this new reality. <laughs> Let's go.